Walston and welcome to Insider's Health TV, where we bring you the freshest happenings in the world of medicine without the quack propaganda. Today we'll be talking about the environmental illnesses, as well as how your office building might actually be making you sick. Ugh. Environmental illness is a brutal disability that is not very well known, but it is quite unbearable to those who are dealing with it. Patient reactions are triggered by volatile organic compounds, or VOCs, that can come from synthetic and natural foods, flowers, oils, and perfumes. For those who suffer, a scent-free environment is the only true way to get any relief, and that is a tall order. While natural odors are better tolerated, the only way for someone with an environmental illness to be completely comfortable is to remove themselves from any scents. Something as small as incense or an aromatic candle can cause severe reactions in the muscles, brains, lungs, and digestive systems. That'll ruin a romantic evening. But the worst part is that most people don't even recognize that this is an actual disability. It's not easy to tell someone that their perfume is giving you a headache or that their deodorant is making you wheezy. But that is the position that they are put in. Keeping with the thought of environmental illnesses, did you know that the building you live and work in might actually be making you sick? It's true, there has been a public push to properly educate people about the dangers of poor indoor air quality, but it receives far less publicity than other well-known forms of air pollution. It's hard to know if your building is actually making you sick because the toxic exposure can be taking place behind a wall or in an air duct. You may not even think anything is wrong and that you're just suffering from allergies. It turns out that you might be living in four walls of toxins. Just as you wouldn't roll all of your car windows up while someone is smoking, and you wouldn't run a lawnmower inside your living room, you should not stand pat if you have any suspicion that the air quality is affecting your life. There are places you can go to get it checked out, and in many buildings, the manager is responsible for providing the necessary fixes. So make sure your home and place of business aren't actually making you sick even though sometimes it can feel that way. That's it for this edition of Insiders Health TV. I'm your host, Kimberly Walson, and remember, it's your health. We're just helping you think outside the box.